Hello everyone, this will be chapter 2 to The One Who Changed His Life by Marvelous Writer 14. Again, I would like to thank her for letting me read this story. She is very creative, she has a creative mind, and she is very talented. Thank you so much. Now let's get on with the video, I guess. Chapter 2. Time skip. A week. I looked around the streets with an empty stomach. I've been on the streets for a week now, and just like I thought, it is so hard to get money to eat. My last meal was two days ago, and it wasn't even that filling. It was just an apple and half a sandwich, since I was not able to get a full meal. I've lost so much weight due to not being able to eat. I sat down by one of the buildings Put my head on the side of the wall. I've never felt worse. I feel as if my body is slowly decaying. I looked up at the sky. The sky is bright blue with a few clouds. I took my backpack off before taking off my jacket. I'm too hot. I opened my bag and put my jacket inside of it. I made sure the bag was zipped up. I was about to put it back on me, but someone grabbed my bag and ran with it. Hey! I yelled. I got up from the ground before I raced after him. My throat hurt so much from yelling at him to stop. I stopped once my body screamed for me to stop running. Once my lungs filled up with air, I started to run again. I stopped when I saw the person who stole my bag on the sidewalk with the driver who drove me to Seattle, standing, looking at him. The driver looked at me before I walked up to the thief. I kicked him in the balls before I grabbed my bag from him. Ouch, that has got to hurt, the driver said. He looked at the man as he said it. He then looked up at me. Long time no see, Blondie, he said. I looked at him before I turned to walk away from him and the man that stole my bag. Put my bag on my back as I saw the driver walk up to me. You okay, Blondie? You look paler than normal, the driver said as he walked alongside me. I looked at him before looking ahead at the people that are about to run into me. I hit his shoulder as my hand slipped into his pocket. He looked at me before he turned and started to walk from me. I slipped his wallet into my empty pocket. Blaine gave me a look before stopping. I looked at him before I walked into the closest fast food place, which just happened to be a subway. I walked into the bathroom, closing the door behind me. I locked it before I took my bag off my back. I pulled the stranger's wallet out of my pocket. I opened it up and looked at the license. Thank you, Jackson, I said as I pulled out the dollar bills. I counted and there was a hundred fifty dollars inside of the wallet. I slipped the money into my pocket before I grabbed the credit card. I got up from the floor. I put the backpack on my back. I threw the man's wallet into the garbage can before I walked over to the door. His card is still in hand. I unlocked the door and walked up to the line. I looked outside the window as I waited in line, only to see the man that drove me here. He is looking at me through the mirror, almost like he was making sure that something was true. Almost like he wasn't sure about something. I looked away from him, not sure if I want to know why he is acting this way. I started to order my sandwich. Why in the world would he just watch me? Maybe I should have not gotten into his car. Once my sandwich was done being made, I walked over to the cash register. I used the stranger's credit card to pay the sandwich in a bottle, bottle of water. Once the sandwich was in the bag, I grabbed the sandwich. I walked over to the cooler. I opened it. Before I grabbed the bottle of water, I turned around before walking towards the door. I threw the card into the trash can after I knew no one was looking. I cleared my throat as I walked out of the building. I opened up the water bottle. I drank half the bottle before I put the cap back on. I looked to see the driver still standing there. 
This time he is further down the sidewalk, phone out and pointing at me. Blaine's view. Kit turned around and walked the other way after she saw me standing there with my phone's camera pointing at her. I looked at her before I turned around and started to walk the other way. I know I saw a strand of pearl white hair sticking out from what I think is a blonde wig. My phone started ringing, making me look to see who was calling. Yeah? I said as I answered the call. Just thought you should know. We finished the... Delivered for the day. You found that girl yet? The one from last week? Julian asked me. Yeah, I did. Find her. I'm going to call social services today to see who she is. I said as I looked behind me. When I didn't see her, I turned around and started to make my way there. I have got to know if this kid is a part of Team Z. So, Seattle has a big problem. I mean, she looks starving, and if she is on Team Z... And the sub sandwich that she just got went help hunger. What now, boss? Julian asked. <sighs> I sighed. Tell Kissy, Chrissy, I'm going to need help getting a room ready for a teenage girl. Tell her to let her know how old the girl is once I get her file. I said. Sure thing, boss, Julian said before I hung up the call. Wow. Well, so far, so good. How do you guys like the story? Right now, I think it's going pretty well. Um, I hope you guys enjoy part two. Please give it a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications if you like to. I don't really care. And, uh, guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.